I came over here to see how you were, not to eat. I baked it in therapy. Is it any good? Yeah, it's delicious. Oh, it's good. good warm. Good. Keeping busy helps. Yeah, tell me. Yeah. Anyway, it was good to be alone for a while tonight. Mike and Doug have been wonderful, but I think we all need a night off from each other. I hope I didn't disturb your time to think. No, no, I'm always glad to see you. Well, listen, I haven't, I haven't brought up anything about Tony and Lorna because I figured you didn't want to talk about it. Well, silly not to. It's what I've been thinking about. Come up with anything? Do you remember that day when you advised me to go to Tony's room and try to talk things out with him? Uh-huh. I gathered that wasn't such a good idea. Well, it could have been. Well, when I got there, Lorna answered the door, and I jumped to a lot of conclusions. When I finally did talk to Tony, I was so angry and upset. I told him to get out, and that I never wanted to see him again. Well, anyway, Doug's been talking to me, and I think I'm beginning to see things a little differently. In what way? What really matters is that Tony and I love each other, and if I can put that hurt and anger behind me, Maybe we can pick up where we left off. Stace, I know that Tony cares a whole lot about you. He's been, he's been going through hell trying to do what's right for everybody. Yeah, whatever that is. Well, Curtis and I think you may have taken Lorna off for an abortion. Oh, uh, I hate to even think of that. Yeah, I feel exactly the same way. Now I feel even worse for telling Tony that I hated him. Maybe his idea wasn't all that bad. What idea? That he'd adopt more than his baby. And when we were married, we'd raise it as our own. I can see where that suggestion wouldn't go down very easily. Yeah, but now I wish I'd gotten to talk to him before they went through with the abortion. Are you sure that Lona Hamilton doesn't have an appointment to see Dr. Seeger? Oh. Uh, would you mind checking under the name Pirelli? Let's see. All right, thanks for your help. Bye. Any trouble, Curtis? Oh, no, just a personal call. Do you know where Lorne is? Your grandmother and I are very concerned about her. Oh, uh, she said she was going out with some friends after rehearsal and that we shouldn't worry if she's out late. Hmm. Something's been troubling her lately. Never seen her so depressed. Yeah. Well, whatever it is, I think she's about to snap out of it. I hope so. Well, Curtis, by the way, do you know if Shannon Sloan is working overtime tonight? No, she's not. As a matter of fact, I asked her out to dinner, and she said she was busy. You asked Shana Sloan to have dinner with you? Yes. Curtis, I do not want you to get involved with her on a personal level. Is that understood? I wasn't getting involved. I just asked her out to dinner. I don't want to hear that you've done it again. That's an order. You know, that Rubinaccio kid's a little chubby, but he's not a bad basketball player. Oh, he's great. He's just got this attitude problem. Hey, you guys just missed Jack. No, we caught him as we were pulling up. Yeah, just long enough to get him to promise to come back to the settlement house to do a little coaching. <laughs> good, good. Listen, I've had a very long day, and I'm going to go to sleep. Well, tell me, how do you feel? Good. I've reached a lot of big conclusions. If you're awake in the morning, I'll tell you. Okay. Good night. Good night, Father Jim. Good night. Pleasant dreams. Thanks. Good kid. Yeah, the best. And she just keeps her balance through some rough times. Huh? Yeah, I couldn't help but wondering how you felt earlier when Mike was going on about his date with Shane and how beautiful she was and everything. I felt a little strange, of course, and Mike had no idea Shane and I were anything but friends. Right. I just hope. What? Oh, this might be my ego speaking, but I sure hope Shane is not leading Mike on to get back at me. Get back at you? For what? For telling her that I think it was better if we just don't see each other for now. Well, I hope she isn't either. I mean, Mike's in no shape emotionally to be able to have someone play games with him like that. Well, thanks for dinner. It really was a wonderful evening. Yeah, I had a good time. Mm. <laughs> Not the end here. I'm afraid so. Well, how about a nightcap? Oh, Mike. I'd, I'd love to, but I have to get up so early in the morning. Okay. 
Well, so maybe, uh, some other time. Yeah, maybe. Okay. Mike. Thanks. What's wrong? Nothing. Uh, I I just think that that we better stop while we both can. <laughs> You've been sending me signals all night. I haven't been getting any signals. Well, I've been getting them. Are you into mind reading now? You making fun of me? No. Mike, please. It's been such a a nice evening. Yeah, it has. <laughs> I think that uh, we better just both say good night and uh, I think you should leave. Well, you don't, you don't have to tell me twice. Oh, my. Good night. No run this morning? Yeah, I already did it. Shower, change. Wow. Well, where are you off to so early? Uh, to see Tony. I thought about everything you said and a lot of other things, and I think I'm ready to talk to him. If he's not there, I'll just leave a note saying that I want to see him as soon as he gets back. He's back from where? Uh, well, last night, Jack told me that he and Curtis think Tony took more than somewhere to get an abortion. I know. I know. I think it's awful, too. Anyway. Thanks. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be thinking this clearly right now. I'm glad. Yeah. Well, I'll have a good you. day. Uh, yeah. Let me know what happens, huh? Oh, I will. Okay. Bye, 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 bye. Hey. Hi. How you doing, Mike? So where's our little champion off to this morning? She's going to see Tony. Look, 
why don't you have some toast? It just came up. I'll get some coffee for you, too, huh? Hey, tell me, how was your date with Shana last night? I'll never understand them. Women, you know, they're just not worth the effort sometimes. Morning. Shana, good morning. It's Jim. I didn't wake you up, did I? No, not at all. Um, what can I do for you? Well, I was calling to see about scheduling a meeting for the uh, Benefit Fashion Show. Well, where, where and when would you like to meet? How about this afternoon in your office? No, I don't think that'll be very good for me. How about this morning in my hotel suite? Jim, are you there? Uh, yes. Um, yeah, that'll be all right. Uh, how about in a half an hour? Perfect. Oh, and if you're worried, um, I can assure you that I'll keep our meetings on a strict business basis. I know how uncomfortable you were when Cabot mentioned that we should work together. Goodbye, Shana. I called Dr. Seeger's office in New York to see if Lorna had gone there for an abortion. Yeah. The nurse said no. I just called uh, Tony's room at the Vista, and the guy at the desk said that Tony and a young lady had just arrived, and Tony left a message to not be disturbed. to tell you I just couldn't get into it over the phone. Stacy, I've got something no, to tell No, Tony, please, please listen to me. I'm sorry I lost my temper with you. I know this doesn't solve anything. But I've been doing a lot of thinking, and what I've realized is if we still love each other, maybe... Stacey, stop, No, please. please, listen. If we love each other, maybe we can please, work something stop. out. Hello, Stacy. Have you told her yet? No. 